Honestly, the truth is, Bitabo will continue to say the truth. Okay? I, in short, that the freeze just hit the nail on the head. I don't want to say much, but honestly, Dr. Justin D, you know, try. What you just did is so disgusting, and you are still are trying to prove it as in that you are writing all ramifications as in oh my god what will you benefit you did not even think of the kids the reputation of your children when they grow up you are exposing this exposing that telling lies unnecessarily even without evidence that your your ex-wife cheated you are covering the the text message just bring out the person that uh, uh told you that let the world since the world has already had dates don't don't even don't even uh, uh hide anything again you must provide an evidence you can't just come out and accuse somebody just falsely like that without an evidence showing us text message you can use your double phone and do that you can use two phones send messages and reply yourself and all that we all know all that so why all this so let me allow you here that they freeze out dr justin dean He's my guy, we chat from time to time. But to be honest, personally, I'm not happy with that chat I saw. I know they're at war. So all is fair in love and war. But even if your ex-wife cheated with pregnancy, I don't think you should bring it to social media. Personal opinion, I may be wrong. Personal opinion, like I said, I may be wrong. Maybe you guys know better. Maybe you guys will have done um, a different thing. Uh, whatever. I saw the text. I'm not saying she did it. And of course, I'm not saying she didn't do it. I don't know her from anywhere. Uh, him, I chat with from time to time. My only thing is, not because whether she did it or not, but how would it impact the children? If she did it, and you can prove it to be true, you are either going to send the message to your children that that kind of behavior is okay, or that mom is a... which you shouldn't send to your children. Now, if she didn't do it, you are sending a, a message to your children that it is okay for daddy to accuse mommy publicly of what she didn't do. So it's a lose-lose situation. They are win-win situations, they are win-lose situations. This is a lose-lose situation. You might win on social media, you might win before the court of public opinion, but before the children who are going to grow up one day, and see so much on social media. Don't get me wrong, we all did it. They dragged me on social media, I dragged them back. But remember, I make money from social media. I work on social media. You understand? There are many things my ex said about me that I wish he didn't say, and there are many things I said about my ex on social media that I wish I didn't say. But you see, we didn't have somebody like Daddy Freeze today counseling us then. So we believe that going to the public was going to bring some sort of respite. And it did, don't get me wrong. It did. It had its own therapeutic value. But then, the children, how are they going to react to it? How are they going to feel about it? Some of us, growing up, we used to look at Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson said he grew up in front of the media. And we didn't understand, ah, really, how do you grow up in front of the media? I've had, I've had the opportunity for the last seven years <clears throat> to live my days in front of the media, the good days and the bad days. And trust me, very few of you can handle it. Very, very few of you can handle growing, living your life in front of the media. There are very few of you that can handle it. It is the days that is up and they are healing you. Yay! <laughs> the days that is coming down. We want the ground to so No, I no go mess. So I carry uh, Coke Zero, put inside freezer because I don't insist they want to bring my food. So when I get Coke Zero, I go take chunk the food. So I don't go put them inside freezer. That way I do with that. Yeah. So that is my take on this particular matter. I'm not taking sides with any one of them. Um, I do wish them healing as they proceed uh, in their lives. Uh, I do wish there was a better way to handle the stress that they both found themselves in. And I do hope that they find respite. Um, the, the, the internet never forgets. The internet never forgets. So be very careful what you feed the internet because the internet is going to regurgitate it he's going to vomit it back and when he does what exactly will your thoughts be so those are my thoughts on the coral bd and the dr gene situation 
um, yes, I know the feminists are bashing him, and I know the men, the uh, toxic males are saying, yes, we all the <laughs> Wisdom is profitable. Solomon was blessed with so much wisdom that he just made, he became the richest man that ever lived. Wisdom is a critical, critical ingredient in the life.